Hey guys, no subscribers guy here, and today I'm bringing back some more World of Tanks videos. And today I decided to have a game in the the light MK Vic, the little tier two. You can't call it a premium tank because practically everybody got it, but the little tier two uh, British premium tank. I think this thing is I think this thing is absolutely uh, brilliant. I think it's brilliant to drive and great fun. The only thing is. It doesn't really fare well against a T18, but we'll see that later, and we'll just throw ourselves straight into a battle because that's really what you want to see. So we got three uh, seal clubbers on our team and three seal clubbers on the enemy team. This should be exciting. I'm gonna avoid the T18s. Should we go again? Any platoons up? There's one T1 platoon. They're the only two ones in the entire game. Wow. Okay, well, this should be a good game. It's only down here at tier 2. I think this is the tier 2 premium. But uh, luckily for this, it doesn't get scout, scout matchmaking with its little uh, dustbins for hatches at the top. I absolutely love the. Uh, the, the gun on this, the auto cannon. There's a poor little T1. Getting damaged by our T18. He thinks he's the boss of the battlefield because he drives a T18. What a dick. I will just stay behind the armor of the T18. I'm not, I'll use this now. I don't think it doesn't have very good penetration from long range, but I don't particularly care. I still get some or scare people. Nope. Whoa, ho, ho. We just revealed a hell of a lot of enemies. Now our tier team's not feeling so confident anymore. Uh oh. Oh god. I need some help down this front here. Ah, it's great to know that the nearest nearest friend is running away. I need to get back to this so I can defend myself. Uh oh. Ooh, I cannot see this ending well. I'm being charged down by two T18s. Evasive maneuver, evasive maneuver, evasive maneuver. I need help. Ah, ah they did not end well. My team is utterly shocking. We just got charged by some T 18s. I'm gonna spam the team to look over there. Because a one T18 is going to charge down the center, kind of just got massive, massacred, massive. What? What am I saying? Then I guess I'll I'll come back to you when this match ends. But I don't see this game ending well for our team. We just got that one T18. Uh, fair play to that T18 driver. Got four kills there. Not fair, but our team just seem in incapable of doing anything. No offense to them. I guess they're holding out. But what's this AT1 driver doing? Oh well, this is World of Tanks and Logic for you. So AT1 finally mustered up the carriage. Ooh. <coughs> but yeah, I hope we're gonna win this, I reckon. I don't know. I'll see you back in the garage. Well, I gave in our light MK Vic didn't end for a while, <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna bring you a. I guess I have a. I head out in the AT2, the uh, the sweet spot, as if to say, in the British oh British tank destroyer line, and this is gonna be a fun game for me. Enemy enemy guns I have to look out for. The SC 35 CA, and that's stuck. Stuck can cause me big problems. I guess it's going to take me too long to try and flank around to the uh, 
that way and flank around the cap, so I guess I head towards the cap. But this should be a good game, I hope. The game did not end well for us. We got charged by two T-18s in a VAE type B in a really not the best tank. If I was in a T-18, like then I would have felt slightly more confident. But you know what? Oh well, just the way matchmaking goes. SU-85B driver just crashed into an 82, thinking he would win in a ramming fight. Oh, that did not end well for him. Oh, the Electo. It's a great little tank strategy, but I liked my Electo when I had it. And the Mod 2, quite enjoyed that as well. So, 82, absolutely massive frontal armor. Pretty good side and pretty good rear. The only weakness from the front is that Commander's Cupola. And the gun's not the best, and the speed's not the best, but you can't have everything now. Oh, there we go, right through there. Alright, let's head off. We've already spotted a T28. I absolutely hate the T28. I hated my T28 just before the KV-1. But once you get that KV-1, you realise all them, all them matches are worth it. But if, early on, if somebody eliminates their Churchill, then we're in for a fun game. There's targets over there. I guess we'll have a nice bit of a pop at you. This is a great thing about how rapid fire this gun is. It's not got the best penetration, but it just shot after shot after shot. So we've already lost two, we lost a, uh, the A20 and a. Oh, no, we lost two uh, T82s. A T82 and an A20 and an M8A1. Holy crap. I'll go down here. The thing really doesn't go well up hills. Best there's the strengths and weaknesses of this tank. Now if we just eliminate their tier fives, then this thing could be insane. Then no one's going to accurately penetrate me from the front from this kind of distance, so we'll feast on that Panzer IV. And I'm attracting a lot of attention. Kill. Okay, move on to the Hetzer. Look at this bounce after. Oh no, my tracks are hit. What a shame. Yep. Finally, apparently, do that headset. T20 will not stop shooting me. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, somebody got a penetrating shot onto me. The potential damage received this game for me is going to be legendary. Yeah, we need to kill that Churchill. I guess it's probably either the Stug. Or the SC35, uh, S35CA even. Yeah, we need to defend the base. Like you call that light tanks heading there now. I don't need to stop it. Let's wait for them to light up targets. There's a Hetzer out there. Hello, Hetzer. Goodbye, Hetzer. And just don't move. Don't stop moving in this, and no one can hurt you. Oh, someone actually hit my commander's key better from here. That was a good shot. Don't stop. I know they're over in this region, so I'm going to keep my frontal armor pointed at them. Yep. Church of Wands taking pot shots at me. Keep my front on. Oh, I was thinking about that stug. Fair play to that stug driver. He did a pretty good game, but the potential damage received, I'm gonna get. They were just bouncing. This is the great thing about this thing. From range, the gun is alright from range as well. But at range, you're just gonna bounce and bounce and bounce and and slowly you can whittle down your enemies. But we did alright, I guess. We unfortunately died. It'd been great if we survived the game. But it seems like the rest of our team have got this one sorted. So I guess I'm going to go skip straight back to the 
post match results for this one because this one's a good game where the last one was rubbish. So I'll see you there. So, welcome back, and just want to point out that I got, I, I received 38 hits, 10, uh, I got I was killed, 10 damage received, 3680, so that was, a, that was a really good, really good game for a 10 damage received, and that's, that's the great thing about the final farm with these things, these 82s are just from a distance. Where they can't actually hit your commanders, Kipola. You are just practically indestructible from the front. Of course, tanks can penetrate hit you like here and here. But if they're just aiming for here, you are in for a fun time, my friend. So I guess I'm just going to leave it there for this week. Or today, even. I've been the no subscribes guy, and thanks for watching.